Hi, I'm Sefton Hill, game director on Batman Arkham Asylum. Today we're going to be taking a look at the free flow combat in Batman. This is the easiest combat challenge map, featuring four increasingly tough rounds of Joker's thugs, so it's a great opportunity for me to show you what Batman can do. The free flow system is about seamlessly chaining together moves from Batman's repertoire. When you chain together three or more moves in quick succession, you enter free flow and can attack over a much larger distance and with much more power. As long as you choose a successful move, you can continue to chain moves together in an unlimited combo. But if you miss or get hit, you lose your combo instantly. So to be successful, you need to be constantly assessing which move you're going to do and on which thug, and then get the timing of the move right. Get any of these wrong and you leave yourself vulnerable to attack. A key part of mass brawl combat is to constantly stay on the move. Batman can instantly counter incoming thugs to keep the combo flow going while under attack. The blue counter icon warns of these incoming attacks, so you need to be on your toes or you will suffer. In hard mode, there is no counter icon. You have to see the attacks coming for yourself. Batman also has a number of special moves, including instant combat takedowns. These allow you to target one thug and instantly take them out of the fight. This is especially useful when fighting higher priority targets, for example, thugs with knives and guns. You also need to keep your eye on the environment because the thugs are scavengers who will grab any weapon or object to use against you. The higher your combo, the higher your score multiplier. This translates to big scores and big XP in the main story. Batarangs are also incorporated into the combo system. Here I've upgraded to the triple batarang, which is invaluable for crowd control when fighting big groups of henchmen. Using throws, you can target environmental hazards as well to incapacitate bones. You can even use one thug to knock down other thugs. One of the most difficult moves to pull off is the ground takedown because it leaves you so vulnerable. One tip I'll give you right now is to use this on the last thug in a round because this is the time when you've got your combo multiplier up as high as possible and this can make a big difference to your score. The free flow combat is easy to pick up and play, but it takes real skill to become a true free flow master. I hope you enjoyed this brief demo of a challenge map from Batman Arkham Asylum.